Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to be looking at how to use our new extension for Adobe CC apps like Premiere Pro and After Effects. So if you've downloaded or used Motion Array assets before, we've got some great news for you. We've created a panel that links directly to our entire library of Motion Array assets, and you can find it directly inside of Adobe CC apps like Premiere Pro and After Effects. Here you can easily grab content directly from our marketplace to use in your projects without leaving the program. And here's the best part. If you already have a paid Motion Array subscription, this doesn't cost you anything extra. Just our way of making things a little bit easier for you to get from point A to point B. So let's now go over how to install and use our new extension. So the first step is to go to motionarray.com. And at the top here, you'll see a section for integrations. Once here, you'll have a clear link to download the panel extension. Totally 100% free to download and use. Once you hit download, you should be taken to the Adobe Exchange platform where our extension is actually located. There should be some information about the extension, as well as the compatibility requirements for downloading it. And assuming your Creative Cloud Suite is up to date, you can simply hit free to start the process. It's going to ask you to sign into your Adobe Creative Cloud account, and once you do that, you can hit sign in. You should then get an indication telling you that the extension has been successfully acquired. And that's actually it. It's really that easy to install. But in the off chance you're having problems, at the very end of this video, we're actually going to go over some essential troubleshooting methods in case you're still having trouble installing this extension. But for right now, we'd suggest it might be a good idea to restart your computer. Then let's jump into Premiere Pro and take a look at how to actually use this extension. So now let's go to where it says the extension would be. Go up to Window, Extensions, Motion Array. Once you click it, you'll prompt the panel to open up and it'll appear here in Premiere Pro. For the moment, it'll be free floating and not attached to anything. So here you can grab this tab and click and drag it to move it around and then dock it any place that you'd like it to stay. Great. So now we have it installed and placed where we want it to be inside of Premiere Pro. But now let's actually go over how to use it. So right now you can see that it's displaying content right off the bat. Right now it's just set to display everything related to Premiere Pro, displaying our most recent additions first. But we have a lot of control over how we can search through and filter content. If we click up here on the filter that currently says everything, we can see that we have options to filter the kind of content that we want to see by type. So things like sound effects and royalty free music are able to be isolated and previewed to see if it's what you'd like. You can also select stock video and motion graphics. But up here under the presets and templates, you can see that we don't have any options for anything related to After Effects, Final Cut, or DaVinci Resolve for example. That's because this extension recognizes that you're inside of Premiere Pro, and it won't clutter your search results with anything that you're not able to use right within this program. Okay, so now let's select a parameter, like stock video, and try searching for something in specific. Let's say that I wanted a nice landscape shot to add to my video. Let's type in our keyword or keywords, and we can see that we get search results related to what we want. You can also further refine your search results by going to the sort by section, where it's set to the newest item. But you can select additional parameters like most popular. And you can select a time frame from when assets were actually first uploaded. And if we want to scroll deeper, the process is super simple and the results should load very quickly. Now, let's say I find a piece of footage that I want to use in specific. How do I actually use it? Well, there should be a little icon to just immediately download it. And when we click it, we'll be prompted to log in to our Motion Array account. If you have a Motion Array paid subscription, you can just download as much content as you want. And once you're logged in, hitting this download icon will immediately initiate the download process. Once you click it, you should get confirmation that it's downloading. But once it's done, where do you actually go to find it? That's the best part. It ends up right inside of your project manager. And you can see a little quick display here showing that Premiere Pro has actually imported that content. And it's been placed into its own unique Motion Array folder. But I really like using the search bar to find things inside of the project manager. So for this piece of footage, hover over the info symbol here to show the name of the file. You'll also be able to see its resolution, its codec, and even the frame rate. If we take the name of the file here and type it into the search bar of our project manager, 
we can see that our footage comes right to the top. And we can also see that when Premiere Pro imported it, it placed it neatly into its own Motion Array labeled folder. So now we can use this footage exactly like any other piece, and easily drag and drop it right into our timeline to begin using it. And we can see that without having to jump out of Premiere Pro, we've been able to find assets for our video project and include them right onto our timeline. And this process works exactly the same with royalty-free music and templates as well. Finally, if I go up here to the top right-hand corner, you can see a drop-down for more options. If you click things like Details or Collections, you'll be taken to those portions of your Motion Array account if you want to make any updates or changes. And if you hit the Downloads button, you can see a list of all the content you've recently downloaded, in case you need to quickly re-download an asset again. Now, one last thing that we want you to be aware of is when you're downloading templates specifically. When you download a template, it's possible that you might encounter this message when it's importing, telling you that there are missing files. This is because there are associated video or audio files that have been downloaded along with this project. But your computer isn't quite sure where to look for them. But don't worry, reconnecting them is super easy. All you have to do is ensure that Relink Others Automatically is checked. Then all you have to do is locate one file from within that newly downloaded folder of the template you just acquired. Have that file highlighted, and then click Locate to search for it on your computer. And in some cases, Premiere will actually immediately suggest the exact file you're looking for. Then all you have to do is hit OK, and all the other missing files will be reconnected automatically, and your template will work flawlessly. And that's just been a brief overview of how to actually use our new extension. But like we promised before, let's go back and take a look at some of the methods for troubleshooting if you're having some problems installing the extension to begin with. So here we are back at Adobe Exchange where our Motion Array extension is actually able to be downloaded. And you can see that we've already tried to download this extension, and it's telling us that we've successfully acquired it. But if you're noticing that you still can't find it within Premiere Pro or After Effects, you'll need to make sure that your version of Creative Cloud is up to date for this to actually work correctly. If you're still finding that it hasn't gone through, we would suggest going here to View My Exchange. Once here, you can select Sync Extensions, which will prompt the web browser to communicate with your desktop app to hopefully initiate that process. And once you've done that, we'd suggest to restart your computer to really ensure that these changes have actually taken root. And if you're still having trouble, try hitting Uninstall, and then quickly reinstalling it. And if after all of that you're still having trouble, you can follow Adobe's set of instructions here to either manually download a ZXP file to install, or to use another one of their third-party solutions. But realistically, as soon as you signed in, it should have initiated installing. And by the time you've listened through all of this, it should be ready to go on your computer. And guys, that's just been a brief overview of how to download, install, and use our Motion Array extension for Adobe apps. I hope you guys find this free addition to your Motion Array subscription useful to finishing your projects even faster. Feel free to download it yourself. And as always, you can find even more awesome stuff right here at MotionArray.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.